It's New Brew Thursday! Woo! And we're gonna go to Sierra Nevada as opposed to the East Coast mm -hmm. today. Um, <laughs> or any other part of the world. Or any yeah. other part of the world, for that matter. <laughs> um, it's kind of like doing the flip side, as it were. So we're you gonna... can never ever make fun of me for a bad joke ever again. But I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. <laughs> um, so we're doing the flip side. It's a red IPA. It's a rebuttal to the uh, mild mannered summer beers that we've been seeing. Yes. And so and it's delicious. It's delicious, apparently, and it's God, pretty. No. It's pretty. Wow, fresh. you were such a rude bitch. And that's frozen. Six point two percent. Completely. Wow. Yeah. This this day is going great. <laughs> Can we have some of your beer, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> this is what's known as a beer sickle, which would explain why we were like, wow, these fill lines are really high. That's yeah, very, they're a little bit more and they very, would have popped the top. It's very unusual for Sierra Nevada. Um, yeah, I think the thermostat on my refrigerator is yeah, a little needs, off. Needs, needs a, well, needs don't pour it off because if you let it melt, it'll now be it's fine. Now it's an ice block. It'll Whoa. Be, it'll be, uh, uh, oh, Matt, what, yeah, what have you done? Yeah, there's some going in. Well, this, this beer is now exploding. Help me. Shit. <laughs> That's awesome. This is the best episode of Every Thursday it's ever. Good to do a show like this. Oh shit! Now it's like coming all over you. <laughs> you got a gusher. I have to hang on to it because I don't want to spill all over the floor. <laughs> your beer's, your beer's coming, dude. This is Fuck. Mine's gonna start. Soon. Yeah, yeah. No. There, there there might be only one in direction. This is the first time this has happened to me. I swear. <laughs> Do that. I, I want to see if it'll just go up and blow. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I bet it would have worked. You hate science. <laughs> oh, I got a bubble. Are you going to drink that? No, of course not. It's full of ice now. Oh, well, I'm going to drink this beer and I don't, enjoy it. I don't know what, was, what, what, what else was I supposed to do. <laughs> well, I'm glad we didn't empty out the glasses behind us because I guess we're doing we're finishing that show. <laughs> okay. Um, you can still drink it. Fuck it. It's like a, it's like uh, a, no, it's still going. It's, uh. it's like a flip side um, float. Here, let's do this. Flip, it's a flip side slushy. Stephen Lo Stephen logic in the proper way. What are you gonna do with the other one in about two seconds when it starts going? <laughs> I'm just gonna let it go. But it'll get all over the brewery labels. Come on. <laughs> I guess I might have to take them off the table. Yeah, then. exactly. Probably. You're, you're going to be using a lot of Gooby Gone, dude. <laughs> Gooby Gone. Well. Oh, man. I wanted to drink that. Stop it. Stop it. Or did you just stop? This is a family show. <laughs> exactly. Clearly. Well, this is a good beer. Oh, damn. That is good. I kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I had more. I'm gonna drink more. Beer. <sighs> All right, I think that's good enough. It's, I say we just, you know, let's just go for it. Let's put this up. Just drink that. Just drink put, that. Put this slushy up. mess. Drink that hot mess. All right, let it go. This was this was this would be really weird for them to just watch this. <laughs> Sitting watching. This I think I think maybe time. you should go to a master pairings now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about the beer when we get back. Yeah, we'll talk about when we get back. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another Master Pairings. I'm your host, Bill Sysak. Today I have Chris White from boutique-cigars.com. Uh, it's a website where you can pick up very outrageous boutique small batch, small batch cigars. Premium cigars. Uh, he's my connection, uh, so that's how I know Chris. Uh, but he's also been getting into beer lately, and I like, and you guys have obviously seen him on uh, our cigar master pairings before, but I thought we'd go out of his realm a little bit and drew a little beer and food master pairings. You scared? No. Okay. I'm good. looking forward to it. All right. So today we have some fabulous fish tacos, California Baja style fish tacos. And with that, we have a stone beer, it looks like. Let's pour this and see what the hell it is. Freshly filled from yesterday, I understand. Nice. Cheers. Cheers. It smells like Enjoy By. Oh, yes, it does. It's fabulous. Yep, big exactly. bad enjoy by 91313 fresh batch out yesterday. Beautiful. Uh, of course, yesterday being um, 
August 8th? 9th yesterday. 9th. Thank you. <laughs> August 9th. Um, I don't really count until it's closer to my birthday, like 100 days out than I remember the date. <laughs> you just celebrated a birthday. Uh, I know. So it's already passed. So I'm yeah. just waiting. Yeah. I'm not even worrying about the rest. Anyways, great beer, multiple hops, has that big mm. uh, fruit, citrus, uh, tropical, has some of that uh, skunkiness too. Mm -hmm. not, skunkiness, I say, that's not really a good word when you think of beer. Think more uh, garlic or onion, that big dankiness that comes through. So it has yeah. a lot of different great big West Coast style hops that are very aggressive, has a lot of other hops in it too. The additions on here are insane. Uh, but it's a great beer. I'm sure you've heard of it, enjoy by. This is the newest batch. Um, let's go ahead and try these uh, fish tacos, Chris, and see how they taste. Okay. Classic San Diego fish taco. Mm -hmm. Where are these from? Great, uh, from Lourdes, mm -hmm. uh, which is a local Escondido uh, Mexican restaurant that's been there for a couple decades, I, I, I believe. Um, you know, breaded fish, great fish, has that white sauce on it, which you find on fish tacos. Has, uh, instead of a little cabbage, it has lettuce and a little pico de gallo. Slight variation there, but really the star is the fish and the uh, sauce. How, what do you mm -hmm. think? No, it complements it very well. Uh, the beer goes beautifully with it. It brings out the breading. Um, the fish is still there. The tortilla works really well with it. Uh, let me see if I can spill some more while I take another <laughs> bite. Of course, classic corn tortilla. Mm. Flour tortillas are for gringos. Mm -hmm. It's just so floral, so, that beer. Great. That's going to come into play, too. Mm -hmm. I love the way, even though this is a big beer, 9.4%, mm -hmm. uber fresh, uber hoppy. It definitely can play with uh, subtler dishes like this. There's not a big spicy flavor on this dish. There's not, um, you know, big tartness or big heat. Right. Uh, but it doesn't overwhelm it. And that's right, what's yeah. great about this beer. I think it's a very nuanced beer for 9.4% IPA. It's big over the top. It gives the hop heads exactly what they want, mm -hmm. but it also can handle a lot of different food yeah, dishes. It's, it's not just smooth. for yeah, not carrot just... cake or big Parmesan cheese or right. Stilton. It can go with a range of beers. Because the hop profile is so unique, it has that full flavor spectrum on the palate, and that's what really pairs really well with it. So another great, enjoyable beer. Yeah. Uh, would you try this again? Sure. If you can find... Enjoy by at a, at a fish right, taco right, stand, right, it'd right. be awesome. Right. Uh, distribution, let's get on that because this is a great pairing. Uh, anyways, thanks, Chris, for being on here. I think Thank it was you. a fabulous show. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy this enjoy by. That's why we're cutting it down a little early today. Mm -hmm. Plus, there's an extra fish taco. I'm going to have to arm wrestle him for that one. <laughs> so, cheers, Chris. Cheers. Thanks for watching another Master Pairings. So, we're back from Master Pairings and we've cleaned up our mess. So this is a valuable lesson to all of you out there not to freeze your beers because yeah. they're not good that way. It wasn't yeah. in the freezer. It just was in a really cold refrigerator. Yeah. And some, sometimes that's enough. 38 degrees. That's, that's yeah, good. Yeah, beer is not vodka. Good. It will freeze. My kegerator is at 38 degrees, but yeah. the fridge, it kind of, you know, it well, the keg, the, the kegged beer, the keg kind of an insulator, isn't it? If I, make, if I do this, I make All right, let's actually start talking about this. <laughs> I was going to say, so, this is actually this is a, a fantastic really beer, good yeah. beer. Cheers. Yeah, let's, let's cheers. Cheers. <laughs> After Master Pairings is when this is supposed to happen. Um, yeah, a lot of that uh, red character comes through mm -hmm. along with the massive amount of hops. Yeah. yeah. Tropical, fruity, very nice. The citrus. Citra. Do they use citra in this? Citra, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, citrus Simcoe and uh, Centennial. Two C's and an S, so the S cancels out the bittering for the two C's. Right? The thing yeah. I usually don't like about red IPAs... Yeah, that joke has jumped the shark. Yeah. Huh? We're moving on now. Yeah. <laughs> is I, I understand you know, a red ale is supposed to be malty and have that slightly, you know, caramely mm -hmm. thing. Go, or uh, Actually, a pretty big part of the taste is the caramel taste. Mm -hmm, for sure. And that's what I don't like about red ales. Like, I just don't dig them. Mm -hmm. This has that malt character but it's still it's drier i think than i most regular red ales are mm -hmm. and the hops just really help with that whole thing with me that's why i like it well it's a known fact that i created the the red ipa style with my zombie apocalypse oh yes two yeah. and a half years ago yeah Hateful. Um, also with Citra. Yeah, be, because Sierra Nevada didn't have a little beer called Celebration, 
like 15 years ago. <laughs> Whatever. That's a Christmas beer. Actually, I, w- <laughs> I, I, I would be interested in putting the two of them together because Celebration is like, you know, a more reddish, um, hoppy type of beer. So I think having these two. Yeah, that's a good. I think it would be idea. really interesting mm-hmm. just to see how they compare. Because I think um, Celebration is Cascade. It's just like Street Cascade, maybe like Centennial. Yeah, I remember. I, I, like that. I think it's, yeah. This ca- I think it might just be Cascade. Um, it's a great beer, though, and I'm looking forward to drinking some more of that this year, too. Every That's another year. one. Tumblr is coming out soon. Sierra mm-hmm. Nevada does so many great seasonal beers. Exactly. So. And it's and it's kind of nice because it, when it, whatever season is coming up, there's you know you can be excited for that season and then be excited for the associated Sierra Nevada beer to be coming out. Right. You know. So we're we're kind of we're kind of sorry that we <laughs> messed up this whole intro part of it. It was fun though. But yeah, it was it was it was a good time. Um, and you know that anything Sierra Nevada puts out is worth drinking and worth buying. So. We're not really doing Absolutely. much to, you know, shock you by saying, "Oh, this is a good beer." Yeah, exactly. Um, it's definitely. Uh, I didn't expect this from them. I, I mean, not. I don't know why. I, when I saw Red IPA, I was like, "Oh, okay." How is that going to taste? And I reluctantly bought it, and it was awesome. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's not like you're. I, I would imagine there's a lot of people out there that have the same viewpoint to red, red ales that I have. It's not that necessarily. It's a good red ale that's super hoppy. Seems odd that you would have had that response given that you had my zombie apocalypse. (laughs) Just saying. Um, Anyway, speaking of the season, um, it is GABF season. And some of us are going to GABF, and some of you aren't. And we apologize to those of you who aren't. What an asshole. (laughs) Some of you aren't. Some of you aren't. It's just a fact of life. Um, no. Some people are awesome, and some people. <laughs> no, you know, I was gonna make a no, suggestion. Are not going to GABF. No, I was gonna make a suggestion that you all should have your own little. Because I know here in our little neck of the woods, uh, Jason and Chris and them all get together for the Not at GABF festival, yeah. and they open up all their their great big huge beers. <laughs> that was one of the frozen ones. <laughs> Um, so I was saying you should do that yourself as well, and that weekend we can turn the entire nation into one big huge GABF on Twitter virtually. It'd yeah, be cool right. if we could do like a Google Plus hangout mm-hmm. during, since we'll be there and we can rub it in your face while you're not. Well, we can rub it in Matt's face too, because Matt won't I'm be there. not going to be there. Yeah. Sad Panda for Matt. Um, so yeah, but if you're going to be at JBF, if you're going to be one of those people, um, try to find us. And we won't make it difficult to you. We'll probably be tweeting constantly about where we are. Matt will probably confuse you by tweeting something that he's somewhere in LA. And we're like, ah, I'm not there. I'm somewhere else. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> I, I, want, I want it to be my goal to drink with fans of New Beer Thursday at JBF this year. Um, so, you know, that's what I want to do. So make me happy, please. That should be our show, just us drinking with fans. That would be kind of cool. That'd just do like a massive party at like Falling Rock. Like, and look at that. us. We have fans. Yeah, exactly. All like, do you enjoy New Beer Thursday? Yeah. Why? No, it wouldn't even be like that. It'd just be like, there would be no talking to the camera. We'd all just be sitting around talking. And people just film it for like 20 minutes. No audio. <laughs> That'd be the show. <laughs> no audio, just... <laughs> so anyway... Um, thank you for staying to this point of this Hot Maps episode. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I've completely lost interest in this episode now as well, <laughs> so we can all just shut it off now. <laughs> okay. Stay oh, safe stay safe and drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. There it is. All right. <laughs> <laughs>